Transducers are devices that convert one form of energy into another. They are used across industry sectors for measurement and control and are designed to monitor currents, voltages, power, phase angles, or frequencies. Some programmable multifunctional transducers are capable of acquiring multiple input quantities simultaneously. The transducer converts these inputs into a proportional analog signal. The transducer test module enables the CMC test set for manual or automatic testing of any measurement function, such as real power, phase angle, or frequency. The video tutorial will walk you through the configuration of the test object. We will use a Siemens 7KG6000 as the test object for this example. We begin by inserting a transducer test module into a new OCC test document. Use the device block from the test object to enter general information, such as name, manufacturer, or nominal values for primary and secondary. If the VT and CT ratios are entered, you will be able to work either with secondary or primary values in the test module. The transducer block contains the test object parameters for conducting the test. Use the checkboxes in the transducer functions list to select those that are active for the transducer under test. The selected functions are included as tabs in the lower section. Although you can check more than one function for multifunctional transducers, keep in mind that only one function can be tested at a time in one test module. This can be solved easily by embedding multiple test modules in the OCC test document. To keep it simple, we will only test the transducer's voltage measurement function. The other functions can be tested in a similar way. Start off by defining whether the transducer output is DC voltage or DC current. The open loop option is available for those transducers that output the result in a display. In the test module, a pop-up dialog allows you to enter the transducer's reading. The angle calculation determines how the transducer measures the power system phase angle. Either the voltage or the current can be taken as a reference, resulting in positive or negative values. Make sure that you match the setting of your transducer. The full scale error reference, which is the difference between maximum and minimum value, is used to calculate the device error. This value will be compared with the specified tolerance value for the assessment of each test point. This selection is only available when a symmetrical characteristic is chosen. Otherwise, the option zero to the maximum value is selected by default. Similar to other test modules, we need to specify the CT star point connection, direction line, or direction bus bar. Remember that forward direction is defined as active power flow from the bus bar towards the line. The setting time elapses before the measurement at the analog input is taken. This time has to be set in accordance with the transducer data sheet. This ensures a reliable test result. For this particular test, the default value of one second will suffice. Now it is time to define the characteristic of our transducer. First, select the number of phases that the transducer operates. The availability of this selection depends on the specific function. For instance, while this is a free choice setting for the active power test, it is fixed for the current measurement function. The tolerance option specifies the maximum device error for a specific test quantity. If a multifunctional transducer was chosen, it is possible to define a specific tolerance for each of the functions. Refer to the manual to verify this value. In our particular case, the transducer presents a tolerance of 0.5%. The characteristic definition offers the selection of either linear, compound, or quadratic options. In addition, should the transducer be complex in nature, 
there is a checkbox for symmetrical characteristic behavior, which is typical for bidirectional power transducers. The transducer input range for the voltage measurement function is from 0 to 90 volts, while the transducer output range is from 0 to 20 milliamps. Of course, the transducer output has to be set to DC current. According to the transducer settings, the saturation range or limit of the characteristic is 22 milliamps. Make sure that the test range lies within the saturation range. Now we need to configure the hardware connections accordingly. We will use the voltage outputs of the CMC as well as the analog DC current input. 